All right, everyone, welcome back. And Caspa is just bullish. There's nothing else to say about it. Uh, I really wanted it to not break out of this box. There is eight hours, over eight hours left on the candle. So uh, hopefully for me, this thing could turn into a wick and we start coming back down a little bit and we do come back down to our, our uptrend here down to this 1718 price level just so I can get Caspa at a little cheaper price here. But, you know, if it keeps going, it keeps going. It is what it is. I will not complain. But it looks bullish. There's nothing else I can really say. If you can close over the top of our box here at 2.8, then your next stop is going to be the 3.2 to 3.3 level here. Uh, I think that is about a 13% move uh, from where you are right now to your next resistance. And if you can get through that, you may spike up to the 4.2 level up here for about a 46% move. Uh, to the upside if you can maintain holding this support here at 2.8. Uh, if you pull back into the box here and this does turn into a wick and you drop back down to the 2.4 level at that 2.36 there, I uh, believe that's about a 14% drop or so from where you are right now. Uh, about 16% move down uh, if you do fall back down below this box here. Um, but, you know, it could get stuck anywhere in here. This box is just kind of a rough drawing from this support here to this resistance and all this and then all these candles here, which we could. I guess there's a wick sticking out of it. Let's pull it up just a speck there. So the price to hold is 282 here. Uh, if we can hold that, then I would say Casper is just going to continue to grind higher. Um, but other than that, it just looks bullish. And there's nothing bearish about the chart, the overall chart or anything on on caspa here uh, so it may never come back down to the price i want but we'll see uh, looking over here Haikanashi, of course we are trending up so like i said just everything about it right now is trending it's bullish it's got the momentum at the moment so i would just watch those prices to the upside and then watch this one two four seven level to hold to the downside and uh, if we draw one more fib here from the most recent high to the low you can see that little white dotted line that we have drawn up here. It's not ac uh, perfect, but it's right here at the 76 at 32. So from the high to the low, you already broke the 618, and you're gonna for that 786 at 32 here. So that's what I would watch for to get hit next, and we will leave it at that on Caspa. Good luck, everyone. Not financial advice. Peace out.